Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Anand Kumar Sharma. I am rank 62 CSE 2018. In this video, we will be discussing the chapter 8 of uh, volume 1 of Economic Survey. The uh, chapter is about from Swachh Bharat to Sundar Bharat via Swast Bharat. So basically the chapter deals with the analysis of Swachh Bharat mission. That what have we done, how what improvements have we done, what are the impact of Swachh Bharat mission and what we can do in the future to make it more impactful. So it talks about that Swachh Bharat machine was uh, introduced with for, along with the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi's ideas of uh, Swachhita. And before uh, even uh, the launch of this program, around 56% of the population was not having uh, access to the toilets. But after the introduction of this program, around 99.2% of the rural India have been covered in the last 4 years. 9.5 crores toilets have been built all over the country and 5,64,658 villages have been declared open defecation free. So this has been the impact. And now they talk about what are the health, socio-economic, financial and the environmental impacts of the Swachh Bharat mission also. So, first we will talk about that what are the components of the Swachh Bharat mission, what the government has done and what have been they trying to be. So, 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi on 2nd October 2019, the government aimed to have the complete country as open defecation free. There have been many components of it, its approach, it adopts a multifaceted approach, multifaceted in the sense that community participation is one of the important aspects. Not only that a sing individual approach, but the community participation has been a significant approach with their behavior change, awareness and a, one of the important pillar of the Swachh Bharat mission. Then the flexibility in choice. The people have been given their choice that how they can want to build the toilets, which type of toilet, where do we build. The flexibility is more of a citizen centric approach that they are the decision makers in this policy rather than the decision being made from the top. Then the capacity building of the panchayat and the other people have been done how to deal with this issue, how to make that and the capacity building in of the implementing agencies like MCD, panchayat have also been done. Then there is use of technology for monitoring by individuals as well as the government and the other agencies is also being the part of that. And what it focuses is that not only building toilets is a part of such a Bharat mission. But more, than impo more important than that is the behavior change of the people, instilling the people, the feeling of swachhita and cleanliness, the belonging of responsibility that it is their area which needs to be cleaned and they are aware about it, that needs to be done. That behavior change communication is an important pillar of Swachh Bharat mission which has been done through various aspects like ambassadors, awareness program leaders, politicians, they, they coming up uh, and through the advertisements that has been taken through to bring the behavior change in the people. So now they talk about the individual household latrines. They have been built and there has been a significant improvement in many states, so especially in the states which where the threshold was low. So the chances of improvement was very high and states have made a significant improvement like the Northeastern state, Kashmir states and uh, the Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, they have made a significant imprint, especially the Goa. Goa is there which has not made an improvement. There is a saturation in case of Goa, which they have mentioned about because already the threshold was very high. So this may be the factor. 60%, 40% is the contribution of center in the state. For Northeastern Kashmir, it is 90 and 10% for the center in the state. The money given by 12,000 rupees is the given, support given to the people for building the toilets in their households. So this is how they depicts that how the states are covered. Many across the state wise comparison is given that part you need not to focus on that. Also they talks about that solid and liquid waste management. That is also a significant part of the Swachh Bharat mission. That how the solid and liquid waste management is being done especially in rural areas and the urban areas both have been done by installing the waste collection centers, processing centers, menstrual hygiene centers, dustbins, segregation, leach pits, compost, twin pits, all these are the part of the solid and liquid waste management and that has also been done through by various center and state 
cooperation program and that forms a component of Swachh Bharat Mission. So, what is this? Now, what we are talking about is the impact of Swachh Bharat Mission. Ki what exactly is the impact of Swachh Bharat Mission? So, there have been various uh, surveys and uh, studies done by various different agencies which focuses on the different impacts. One of the significant impact is the potential health impact. Health impact in the is that it has reduced the diarrheal diseases and diarrhea is one of the most important cause of death in children. Then it has also reduced the nutritional deficiency in the children, still birth and low birth weight. Low birth weight are those which are less than 2.5 kg at the birth. So, these have reduced through various uh, studies they have found especially by the Ministry of Water, Drinking and Sanitation that these have significantly reduced in the areas which were not earlier open defecation free. There is a comparative studies between the districts of across all the four or five states that those and with similar geometrical and socio-economic conditions. The district which had a higher threshold and had a significant good open, there was less open defecation in those, those areas and the district which have a high open defecation after the Swachh Bharat mission and installation of individual household latrines, the significant decrease in the, uh, the, uh, in the diseases and diarrheal diseases and all these diseases was much higher in the districts which were earlier not defecation, non-open defecation free. So, this significantly highlights the health potential and outcomes of Swachh Bharat mission that all especially on the diarrheal diseases, nutritional deficiencies, low birth weight and stillbirth. Then it talks about the economic impact of Swachh Bharat mission. The World Bank estimated that the economic impacts of inadequate sanitation is 2.4 trillion rupees or implying a per capita annual loss of rupees 2180 which amounts to 6.4 percent of GDP. So, there it is if there is inadequate sanitation, inadequate hygiene, it impacts the health of the people which impacts the outcome of labor force as well as increases the burden of on the state to spend on the health care. This is have a direct impact on the GDP of the population, GDP of the country. So, this is the economic impact of the uh, so Chavarat mission that we are able to have an impact on the GDP reducing the damage caused due to the inadequate sanitation and hygiene. Then they are talk about the household financial security after what they are talking about is that after building the individual household and latrines uh, health of people have improved the diseases have reduced. So, their expenditure on health or diseases or medicines or hospitals that has significantly reduced which has led to rise in the savings. So, what say that every household in an open defecation free village saved about 50,000 per year on account of financial savings. So, economic impact is on the GDP level also that is the country level as well as the individual levels also. Households are saving money because the diseases have decreased as so their health expenditure have reduced and at the same time the operational cost for the cost and building for building toilets that subsidies were provided by the government. So, they do not have to spend anything on that. So, this has a significant savings improvement and specifically what they mentions about is that the savings in the poorest household it was the proportion of savings in the poorest household was much more higher than in the poor or less in the middle class households. So, poor has benefited most with this Swachh Bharat mission. Also, they talk about the environmental impacts. They talk the villages which were ODF free are 11.25 times less likely to have their ground water source contaminated. 11.25 times ground water less contaminated. 1.13 times less likely to there have soil contaminated, 1.48 times less likely to have food contaminated and 2.68 times less likely to have household drinking water contaminated. So, now you can see the impact is not only on health, not only on the economics, but also on the environment. Your soil, your ground water, drinking water, food are less contaminated 
substitute after being declared as open defecation free. So this way we can see that Swachh Bharat Mission has a uh, impact across the sectors, be it economic, be it environment or the social aspect. This totally uplift the poorest sections also. Now they are talking about the way forward. Now since the scheme has been there, but still we have to achieve and the one of the challenge is the to continuing the behavioral practices. The behavior change which has been there has to be sustained. So what they are talking about that the government has to improve as along with the people and multiple agency have to increase the funding. Funding has to be done through public private partnership, through donations, through corporate social responsibilities and through the government funding. Also we need to empower the agents of change, the sanitation workers, the manual, the, the people who are there of MCD workers, they need to be empowered and also awareness through ambassadors, through uh, systemic feedback, monitoring, proper uh, citizen centric approach needs to be followed. So has to have a to continue this momentum. It's an ongoing process. You have to continue this momentum and for this these things needs to be done. Similarly, of solid liquid waste management, scientific techniques for solid liquid waste management needs to be approached. Waste treatment management, waste to energy management, segregation of waste, awareness among the people that needs to be continued because that will focus now needs to shift from individual household to public areas also. Till now the focus is on the individual household, cleanliness at individual level. Now we have to shift to area to public level and for that solid liquid waste management is an important aspect. When the, the shift will be there from individual to public, the outcome will be much more higher than those than the previous efforts. Then further they talks about that this way the clean India investment will ensure our future generations is healthy and gives a term like will make India a swatch that is clean, swast, healthy and sundar because public areas will be clean once the waste is management. So swatch, swast and sundar and that will be a real tribute to the father of nation on his 150th birth anniversary that is 2nd October 2019. So we will summarize the whole thing is one of the largest cleanliness, Swachh Bharat Mission is one of the largest cleanliness drive in the world. It has brought a remarkable transformation. As we talked about before, 67 years after the independence, 10 crore rural and about 1 crore urban household were without a toilet. But after this program, we have 99.2% of the rural India has been covered. 9.5 crore toilets and 5,64,658 villages have been declared ODF. ODF has reduced deaths due to diarrhea, malaria, especially in under 5 children, stillbirths and newborns and thereby improving child health and nutrition. Financial savings as we told about 50,000 per household was there in the villages. So this way we can say that it has a economic, environmental, social aspects and this momentum needs to be continued to take it from an individual level to a public level with greater stakeholder participation, citizen centric approach and awareness and behavior change among the people so as to give a befitting tribute to the father of nation. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get latest updates on upcoming videos.